In the early 90s, a man named Frank Miller made the graphic novel Sin City, a series of books that showcased the creativity of crime noir. This goes back to the Batman comics. They are both similar due to the grittiness and complex character development. In 2005, a man named Robert Rodriguez came along to direct a film with the help of Miller and Quentin Tarantino. And man, it was awesome. The character is complex, the plot amazing, the acting is terrific, the setting dark and gritty, the visual is nothing like you've seen before. Yes, this is a perfect way of taking advantage of green screen effects, and for me, personally, this movie is up there with the recent Christopher Nolan Batman movies. Again, with complex character development and engaging plot, and as you can imagine, there is going to be a sequel. Eventually. So Miller, thinking he was onto something, he found an old comic called The Spirit made by Will Eisner in the 1940s, and after his death in 2005, DC Comics continued it. The Spirit chronicles the adventures of a mass vigilante who fights crime. Okay, this has been done before, but this is Frank Miller directing, minus Robert Rodriguez. But still, the trailer looks good. The same grittiness as Sin City, same style. I thought this was going to be good. But before I watched it, I kept hearing so much negativity about this movie, and, like another horrible movie, I chose to ignore that reception and watch it anyway. And let me tell you, this movie is bad. Gabriel Match plays the spirit and he tries to be cool, like Clive Owen in Sin City. But it totally fails. He tries to play the role like he's trying to be cool, but he comes off as an insecure kid who tries too hard. The movie is about the spirit trying to defeat his main nemesis, the octopus, who is played by Samuel L. Jackson. And I don't know if it's me, but I have no idea what he's doing here. It's like Johnny Depp in that Willy Wonka movie. What the hell is he even doing in this movie? During this movie, the spirit tries to find who he is, and the octopus is the key to his answers. None of the characters have any care in the world about what they're doing. In Sin City, all the people have some motivation about what they do, from helping prostitutes to rescuing women to killing people for a living. This does nothing. Nothing in this movie is redeemable. And, wouldn't you know it, this was a critical and commercial failure. But you know, the best thing about this movie is that the visuals are amazing. The scenery is slick like Sin City, making for an amazing atmosphere, even if at times it seems out of place, but there still needs to be more than visuals. And you know, the movie really knows how to take the green screen effects to its advantage, whether it's absolutely kick-ass or a bit confusing. It should make a good movie, but there are so many things that make this movie piss poor. It's like the movie Little Nemo. The visuals are amazing and have some amazing ideas, but there has to be a coherent story, interesting character development, and a good script. The spirit is 35 steps down of Sin City. Frank Miller should learn to ask for help in terms of directing because without Rodriguez, the movie just becomes a mess of unethically proportions. See you next time.